So hello everyone. <clears throat> in today's um, in today's video, um, we will discuss about uh, topic four, so which is about uh, value added tax in uh, Vietnam. So in this uh, session, uh, actually, I'm going to divide this session into uh, two parts. All right. To um, this topic will be into two parts. Uh, in first um, first video or first part. Uh, we will discuss about some some uh, some outcomes. So total, we have uh, around seven uh, learning outcomes. Right? So in the seven learning outcomes, so four outcomes we will discuss today, and uh, and three outcomes we will discuss in the second uh, video. So in these four outcomes, first of all, we we discuss about some some special requirements or special informations about VAT in Vietnam, or you can say that some introductory uh, information about uh, VAT in Vietnam. Second thing we will discuss about the taxpayer, who are the taxpayer or who are the liable to pay tax, uh, which is VAT. And third thing we're gonna talk about the goods and the services which are exempt uh, from VAT. Then number four, we will discuss about the taxable goods and services uh, in Vietnam, right? And learning outcome five, six, and seven, which is uh, tax rates, uh, which involve uh, methods. Uh, there we have two methods: direct method and the credit method. So we use two different methods to to estimate uh, uh, to estimate uh, the um, uh, the VAT in Vietnam. And besides uh, that uh, method, the last learning outcome will be administration system, how uh, Vietnamese governments, they collect uh, VAT in Vietnam. What is a procedure, proper procedure to, to get tax uh, collections, all right? So let's start with the... Um, <clears throat> So let's start with the uh, introductions. So in this one, uh, you can call it introductions or some kind of special uh, requirements. So let's call it uh, introduction. Okay. Uh, for uh, introductions, we're gonna we're gonna discuss about uh, what is the meaning of um, uh, VAT. And uh, what happened if uh, foreign parties or foreigners involve uh, involved in order to providing services or goods in Vietnam? So how they gonna uh, they gonna pay VAT in Vietnam? So that's very basic uh, information about uh, value added tax in Vietnam, right? Uh, so VAT. So VAT, of course, it's a indirect tax. Indirect tax, right? Uh, which applies for goods and mainly goods uh, and services for production in Vietnam, right? So indirect tax, so indirect tax goods and services goods and services in vietnam all right so which means goods and services produce in vietnam all right of course we're gonna pay uh, vat on it for taking those goods and services and and goods and services outside all right, so which means uh, we are taking goods and services from outside, and then we're gonna consume that goods and services inside. Of course, inside means Vietnam. So we are taking goods and services from foreign country, and we are consuming that goods and services uh, in Vietnam. All right, so we liable to pay VAT. All right, if goods and services in Vietnam, yes, of course, uh, uh, we we have to pay 
uh, value added tax, but uh, if we are taking goods and services from, from outside, uh, in this situation, uh, we, we also have to pay uh, goods and services, but the condition for taking goods and services from outside is that we are consuming in Vietnam. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so inside and outside. All right. Okay. So let's uh, discuss about um, foreign country, which is uh, goods and services from, from outside goods and services from outside okay <clears throat> okay so goods and services so goods and services outside means i want to discuss about goods at first all right if we are purchasing goods from outside, all right? So if we are purchasing goods from outside, in this case, tax VAT, of course, uh, is payable at import stage, all right? So means we are gonna pay tax in relation of goods and services taken from foreign country, we're gonna pay import, um, we're gonna impose uh, VAT uh, at the import, sta uh, import stage, right? The time we are buying. So keep in your mind, I'm talking about goods because that's goods are tangible in nature. So when, when we are taking a goods, it's easy to identify whether it's, it's uh, is already uh, took it or already purchased from foreign country or not. I'm not talking about the services, but of course, uh, there are some kind of special requirements in order to pay services um, uh, later. We will discuss that. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. So keep in your mind if goods from outside, right? If goods from outside, then VAT, which is tax, is subject to FCWT, right? FCWT stands for foreign contractor withholding tax, all right? So of course, uh, we are taking uh, services from outside. So there are some kind of contractor involved uh, in, in those kinds of agreements or in, those, the, the, uh, in that kind of contract. So whoever contractor involved in that kind of uh, activities, of course, gonna be a Vietnamese contractor or any other, so more, in the most of the cases, a Vietnamese contractor. So that Vietnamese contractor needs to hold the uh, tax, and later is, a, is that contractor has the obligations to pay the tax. All right. So keep in your mind. All right. So in this case, um, so I will say that contractor, contractor will withheld. Contractor will be held the tax, and later is uh, is much more obliged to pay the tax to the government. So that's that's only the case when foreign parties involved, right? Is the case when goods uh, and services, mainly goods, uh, mainly goods, is taken from outside, right? So that's. Um, um, That's the, the, the requirements, all right? And one more thing, uh, this FCWT, this FCWT must apply by the foreign entities, right? Because foreign entry, they, they enter in a Vietnam to do a business, right? So which means that, that, um, that, that, that foreign entities 
they must comply the Vietnamese law in relation of tax. All right. So, so according to Vietnam law, uh, that foreign entities, that foreign company, that foreign entities uh, must apply. All right, I repeat, foreign company must apply. All right, uh, they are, they, that's their, their obligations. So that's uh, very um, uh, introductory information uh, in relation of uh, VAT in Vietnam. So let's move on to the, this is the first uh, learning outcome, right, which is uh, introductory uh, information about Vietnam. Let's move on to the um, next point, uh, which is about uh, taxpayers. So this is uh, topic four. This is Okay, so now we move on to the uh, second Now we move on to the uh, second learning outcome, uh, which is about uh, the taxpayers. So any kinds of individual or organizations, they will be treated as uh, a taxpayer in relation of VAT. Uh, in Vietnam, but but make sure uh, there are some kind of certain requirements for those kinds of uh, individuals and um, and uh, an organization to be treated as a VAT, VAT payers, all right, taxpayers. Okay, so um, so who could be a taxpayer in Vietnam? Of course, uh, all individuals. and organizations all kinds of individuals and the organizations okay so um who could be involved uh, in these kinds of uh, individual and the organizations so in this one uh, could be uh, any kinds of manufacturing or trading uh, companies or individual who involve in manufacturing and trading right so
manufacturing and trading manufacturing activities and uh, trading activities which are applicable to uh, to the payments of VAT right for goods and services in Vietnam right? so make sure these manufacturing and trading companies whatever goods and services they are providing in Vietnam uh, are applicable for tax payable right? applicable for tax payers right? applicable for tax payments applicable for paying on VAT right? but make sure these goods and and services in Vietnam all right so manufacturing companies if they are applicable to pay for tax for certain goods and services they have to pay right because of course all kinds of goods and services we don't have to pay tax that we will discuss uh, in our uh, next learning outcome right uh, okay Next thing is, uh, uh, if we are importing, if we are importing uh, goods, mainly goods, of course, if we are importing goods from, from of course, uh, from outside, which is foreign country, must pay. Right, applicable to pay tax right? so which means uh, whoever is involved in that kind of activities could be individual or organizations they they uh, will be treated as a taxpayer right? third thing is a uh, purchasing services purchasing services Purchasing services, of course, from outside. All right. Um, of course, need to pay um, uh, whoever is uh, taking services from outside in order to provide that services to their locals. Of course, Vietnamese. In that case, uh, that kind of individual organization will be treated as a tax payer. Right. So, which means these two from foreign country, foreign country, these two uh, means uh, taking services from foreign country in the first one, manufacturing and trading in within Vietnam, right? Okay, uh, in relation to this uh, taxpayers, uh, so keep in your mind that exporting, exporting goods and services uh, are subject to pay 0% VAT. So which means exporting goods and services most of the cases, if you are exporting goods and services to the foreign countries, you have to pay 0% VAT. So which means, of course, you don't have to pay uh, any kinds of tax VAT, right? No matter individual or organizations. Next one is uh, uh, if any individual, not organization, only individual involved in selling uh, any kinds of uh, personal assets uh, 
personal assets. Uh, whoever is selling personal assets, so let's say I am selling my personal assets to you, right? So in this case, you are purchasing personal assets. So it means, uh, I think I should write uh, instead of purchasing, instead of selling, uh, I should write uh, purchasing. So buying. Buying personal assets not subject to pay any kinds of uh, VAT, right? So no VAT. So of course, VAT will be applicable for those uh, uh, kind of items that, that's maybe involved in, a, uh, in a, involved in, in, in any kinds of um, kinds of, uh, in, in of trading trading uh, purposes. Right? Um, So that individuals uh, will not be uh, will be not able to pay any pay any kinds of tax. Right? So that's the uh, the things that the informations in relation of tax uh, payers. Now we move on to the uh, next uh, learning outcome, uh, which is about. So next, which is number three. Next one is a, a tax exempt, right? VAT exempt. So following on following goods and services, um, a taxpayers. Of course, they are not obliged to pay any kinds of tax. But remember, this tax exempt divided into uh, divided into two parts. One is tax exempt items which require to declare. So, which means if you are involved in those kinds of goods and services, of course you don't have to pay tax, but you require to disclose that kind of goods and services, which means you are involved in that kind of uh, uh, buying such kinds of goods and services, all right? Being a taxpayer. So I would say that uh, disclose. So you require to uh, declare, so disclose or declare. So these kinds of goods and services declare. Now, uh, now we start. What kind of things these are? First one is uh, any kinds of activity involved in uh, business establishment, right? So which means uh, if you are, so let me write down here, uh, business, establishment business establishment uh, shall not be uh, uh, shall not be uh, or business establishments activity will not be able to get any kinds of credit and tax refunds right business establishments activities right. so business establishments activity will not account for tax credits and not no any kinds of tax credits or 
three five. All right. So no any kinds of tax credits or refunds uh, for the tax uh, business establishment. Okay. Um, okay. And second one is a uh, its basic requirements that who gonna get some kind of tax benefits or not. So business establishment activity, you are not, and you are involved in, involved in, uh, uh, you involved in any kinds of activity which lead to input VAT, right? So this business establishment activity, which lead to input VAT. If you are paying VAT, for business establishment activity, so that means you're not gonna get any kind of tax exemptions, right? So you're not gonna get any kinds of tax credits or refunds, right? You have to pay VAT. Right? Second thing is, um, and now, now, first thing is you don't have, uh, you're not gonna get any kinds of tax exemptions. Now I'm gonna tell you which kinds of uh, Goods and services uh, will help you to get tax credits and refunds. Right? Goods and services uh, exempt exempt from paying VAT. All right. Okay. Um, First one is a uh, uh, if uh, involved in any kinds of agriculture agriculture products uh, and any kinds of agriculture product which are unprocessed or primary produced, right? Agriculture products which are unprocessed, which is natural, of course. We are not uh, spending some extra uh, cost or extra uh, kind of uh, things in order to uh, improve it. Like as for example, uh, using any kind of preservations on such kinds of uh, fruits and vegetables. All right. So preservations, after applying preservations, that food consider as a processed food, right? Before giving any preservations to those kinds of foods will be treated as uh, uh, agriculture products. On, on, on buying that one, of course, you don't have to pay a tax or so you can get tax credits and refunds, right? And another one is a primary produce. So unprocessed or primary produce. primary produce and primary processed. Right. So agriculture product which is unprocessed or primary processed. Right. So you don't have to pay VAT. Uh, Second one is uh, any kinds of uh, activities or any kinds of uh, things uh, which involve in Fertilizers, right? Uh, feed for cattle, feed for cattle, Feed for cattle and um, feed for cattle, feed for poultry, or any kinds of um, and and other livestock. Right. 
So any kinds of fertilizing we are using um, in, in some kind of uh, agriculture purpose or any, any other kinds of purpose. Uh, feed for, uh, for cattle, for poultry, for fish or some other kinds of livestock, we don't have to pay any kinds of uh, VAT. Okay, so number three, which is about um, any kinds of equipment services for preserving product for fishing boats, right? Uh, any kinds of um, any kinds of equipment services, equipment services for preservation, for preserving uh, food for fishing boats. preserving food for fishing boats. Okay. So that's kind of um, services what involve uh, paying tax. Uh, next one is special Uh, equipment or any kinds of machines, special equipment and machines uh, involved in uh, in producing agriculture products, right? which is used in agriculture products. <clears throat> so that's also uh, consider uh, as a uh, tax exempt uh, products or kind of services. Right. Next one is uh, uh, some kind of uh, infrastructure services, right? Certain, certain, certain infrastructure or some kinds of construction related services will not, uh, uh, you don't have to pay tax on it, right? Next one, number six. So number six is uh, insurance, certain insurance services, certain insurance services, if you are taking any other kinds of insurance services, you don't have to pay VAT uh, in order to encourage people to buy insurance. Right? Uh, next is uh, uh, transfer. Transfer for land or houses. You are taking any kinds of services which involve in transferring land and houses, uh, that's kind of services you don't have to pay any kinds of VAT. Okay. Next, number eight is a, but of course, in, in particular, some kind of uh, certain conditions, right? 
Next one is a certain certain financial services, All right? Such as uh, securities. Means related to uh, stock markets involved involve in any kind of selling services related to uh, security uh, markets, you don't have to pay any kinds of fees. Next one is um, uh, taking any, any other kinds of uh, medical services, medical services. Uh, medical services uh, by the old people, right? Medical services by the um, uh, family of uh, veterans right? or um, yeah, family of veterans people who die in a war uh, and um, disabled medical services for disabled. Uh, uh, disabled people, so you don't have to pay any kinds of uh, tax. Next uh, is um, any kinds of uh, services which is related to uh, cultural and educational cultural and educational services oh you don't have to pay uh vat uh next one is um, um any kinds of certain certain uh, publications legal services for certain publication or any kind any other kind of limited uh, televisions uh, activities uh, that's I will discuss uh, at the end of uh, this session, of course, second part. In the second part, I, I will discuss that uh, we have uh, some kinds of some drawback or some kinds of limitations uh, uh, or some kinds of weak points related to uh, uh, VAT uh, applic applications in, in Vietnam because uh, some kinds of information is ambiguous and unclear, uh, which, uh, which may create a doubt for the VAT uh, uh, taxpayers or the people who got a claim for the tax credits and the tax refunds because the information is less precise, uh, lack of information is given, so that may uh, discourage people to take some kinds of credits, credits and benefits in relation of VAT. I, I will discuss these points uh, at the end of uh, part two. Okay. Next one, number two, uh, number 12 is a gold bar. Right. So buying gold bars, uh, gold bars, not 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 the jewelries. Right? Gold bars is mainly uh, forty-four carats. Right? So buying gold bar, uh, no kinds, no any other kinds of uh, tax. Right? Um, so donations. Donations and gifts, taking uh, any other kinds of donation and gifts, and of course, buying private assets, private assets, buying private assets, taking any kind of donations and gifts. You don't have to pay VAT, maybe some other kinds of taxes, but not, not VAT. All right, so. Um, Okay, uh, two more. So we have total 15. Number 15 
number 14 is uh, any other kinds of technological services. Technological services. And number 15 is a uh, Okay. Goods and services provided by individuals and organizations. All right? Goods and services provided by individual and organizations and make sure that individual and organization yearly income which is profit is less than 100 million Vietnam dollar all right less than 100 uh, million Vietnam dollars if uh, individual organization which is not considered as a large of course organization so of course they don't have to be so there is a kind of uh, certain categories in, uh, to determine whether organization is a uh, small or medium or not. so uh, that's that's all about your um, your uh, tax exemptions uh, but tax exemptions related to the items uh, related to the goods and services so that's uh, that we must uh, declare right? now we move on to the tax exempt exemptions related to those goods and services which uh, uh, which uh, are of course uh, tax exempt and but you, you are not required to to disclose those kind of services, goods and services. Three, three B. All right. So B is uh, not disclosed, right? not required to declare. You are not required to declare these kinds of uh, things, it's these kinds of goods and services. So this is tax exempt. So the first one is a uh, income income related uh, uh, income related compensation right. bonus and allowances bonus and allowances are not subject to pay any kinds of uh, VAT. Um, any kinds of services which is purchased purchased from foreign country purchased from outside and also consumed outside all right so means uh, we can call it uh, re-import 
we taking the services and we make some changes in that services and then we give back that services in the organization or we are consuming that services outside of Vietnam. If you are if you are consuming that services outside of Vietnam, you are not subject to any kinds of uh, VAT. Next one is a uh, any kinds of fixed assets which is transferred within organization group all right so there is a group so it has a multiple uh, subsidiaries and transferring assets from one subsidiaries to other subsidiaries not required to pay any kinds of uh, tax number four is a capital com contribution in form of assets capital contribution in form of in form of assets Good. next is a uh, um, transferring uh, assets uh, upon merger and acquisition. We call it M and A. Right? If any kinds of transfer assets um, in the process of uh, merging and acquisition, uh, we are not uh, paying any kinds of. Um, VAT neither required to disclose that kind of transactions. Next one is a um, uh, paying VAT uh, credit method. credit method. So as I said, we have two methods to estimate uh, value any tax in Vietnam. The first one is a credit method and the second one is a direct method. So I, I think I shouldn't say paying, instead of paying, I would say that calculating, right? If you are calculating VAT uh, using credit methods, then of course um, uh, we don't have to uh, pay uh, any kinds of uh, tax. Next one is a uh, uh, reimport goods. I think this is reimport goods, and that was reimport services. Basically, we don't use the word for um, uh, we don't use the word import for purchasing services in foreign country. All right, but anyway, I should uh, is goods uh, goods. And services, all right. Goods and services purchased from outside and also consumed outside. So we we'll, we we'll, we'll call it. If you talk about goods, we call it a reimport goods, as I, as I explained before. So that's all about your um, your learning outcome three, which is A and B. Uh, now we move on to the uh, last learning outcome for this session, which is uh, learning outcome four. Topic four, learning outcome four, which is uh, taxable goods. 
So we will talk about taxable goods first, and then we will taxable services. So taxable goods. The first one is a retailing goods to so retailing services which involve uh, selling selling goods to local individuals why i'm saying local individuals because if the goods is purchased by foreigners then of course at the same moment the foreigners has to pay tax but if the foreigner is consuming that goods in foreign country so on airports uh, in in customs so they are liable to take kinds of uh, tax credits or tax benefits for the vat that that foreigners has paid uh, paid to uh, paid to Vietnamese government. For example, uh, let's say uh, I go to Singapore, all right? If I'm not a Singaporean, so I go to Singapore, and which means I'm a foreigner in Singapore, and I did some shopping for me. Let's say I purchase um, one camera, and and then. I'm bringing that camera back to my country or some other countries, right? which means I'm not using that product or consuming that product in, in, in Singapore. So, but at the time when I am buying the camera, of course, I have to pay a VAT because we, we are estimating the selling price of the product by adding the VAT, which is maybe 10 or 11% depends. But in, in the most of the cases, the 10%. So let's say the camera value is uh, $900. So 10% is, uh, is a $90. So I, I have to pay 990. So 900 is a, is a product cost, uh, I mean the price only for the product excluding VAT and 90 is VAT. So I'm paying 990. So if I'm living in uh, Singapore or in, in Singapore customs, uh, I, can, I can claim that money back, which is $90. $90. So by showing them receipts, by showing them my product, I can claim that product, uh, the, the money back from from the uh, from from Singapore uh, uh, customs. Or exactly same thing happened in Vietnam. So, if any foreigners who buy products in Vietnam, and that foreigner is bring that product back to his or her country or another country, so during the time that guy is leaving the country, leaving Vietnam, can get some kind of uh, he, 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 get exact the money that already paid. Uh, as a VAT, right? So that's why I'm using the word here is a local individual, right? Um, number two, which is uh, retailing, selling goods to foreigners. Foreigner that person can refund of course as i explained it before but refund in a case where the consumption of that goods is outside vietnam if the consumption of the goods is outside vietnam yes uh, uh, yes, that's that's uh, goods don't have to pay VAT or can get tax credits. But if the consumption of the goods in Vietnam, yes, it's considered as a uh, as a taxable. But of course, at initial level, whoever local or Vietnamese all are paying VAT at initial stage. But later, owners can get tax credits, unlike it. Okay, um, next one is a. Uh, <clears throat>
any Vietnamese buying product from foreign country. Uh, Vietnamese buying product from foreign country, let's say, same example with me, for example, I'm a Vietnamese. Uh, I go to uh, Singapore and I purchase some goods, let's say camera, and I refund, uh, I get refund of that camera VAT on airport, in, 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 like as my previous example. But if I bring that camera in Vietnam, I have to pay uh, VAT, correct? Uh, so this is also example of double tax uh, agreements. So uh, double tax agreements means if you already pay one kind of tax in one country, that tax on that particular goods and services will not be applicable in another country, right? But this is the condition. So if I'm taking a benefits, which is tax relief, I'm bringing that camera back to Vietnam and I'm taking a uh, tax credit benefits benefits on the on Singaporean custom. If I took that benefits and then I bring that camera back to Vietnam, then of course I have to uh, pay VAT. But if I already paid VAT uh, in, in Singapore at the time of buying camera, but I do not get refund, and then I bring that camera back to Vietnam, then I, I don't have to pay uh, Pay, pay VAT because if I'm paying VAT, so which means I'm paying a one product tax two times, which is which is not um, uh, not uh, not right. All right. So most of the countries they have a double tax uh, agreements. All right. So we call it DTA. So according to double tax agreements, so there is agreements between Vietnamese government and the Singaporean tax uh, authorities that if any Vietnamese already pay tax in 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 in, in uh, in, in Singapore, no matter the taxes, the income tax, corporation tax, or VAT, if that money or product bring that back to the Vietnam, then don't have to pay uh, uh, any kinds of tax. But if that person already paid tax, then then uh, then uh, if they, that person hasn't paid tax, then need to pay tax here in Vietnam. Remember, I'm talking about VAT. I'm not talking about import. Right, because in Vietnam there is an import tax, which is which is separate, right? So if you bring that product back to Vietnam, of course you have to pay VAT, right? If you are not taking, uh, if you are taking tax credit or benefits, in addition you also have to pay import. You know that as we discussed in the previous session. So keep in your mind, I'm talking about VAT, and of course you have to pay. You have to check whether you have to pay import duty or import tax or not, right? Um, Number four, Okay, so now we talk about number four. So number four is uh, any Vietnamese company selling machines or selling uh, any kinds of assets to another Vietnamese company. One Vietnamese company is selling machines or equipments to another kinds, uh, another Vietnamese company that uh, will not, uh, that, uh, yes, we have to protect in that case. Uh, next one is um, Vietnamese company, Vietnamese company sell to sell that machine and equipments in foreign country. So 
in foreign country. So technically, uh, technically foreign company, right? So this is called export, right? And you know that if there is export, so tax rates will be zero. So which means uh, for this, this kinds of situation, which is number five, it's not taxable, right? So number five, so number five is not taxable because as per law, exporting goods subject to 0% tax. Next is if any uh, Vietnamese company buy machine or equipment from foreign country foreign country of course need to pay uh, value added tax right. so these are the goods uh, on which we have to pay tax except number five because it's involved in exporting activity uh, now move on to uh, taxable taxable services so taxable services so this is number four so in taxable services the first one is a Vietnamese provide Vietnamese of course Vietnamese company providing services to another Vietnamese company if this is the case you have to pay tax right uh, Vietnamese company providing services to foreign providing services to foreign country or foreign companies then of course yes have to pay VAT so not paying VAT in the case when we are providing goods to uh, uh, goods to the foreign company or foreign country right for services yes you have to pay uh, but there's a conditions for providing services to the foreign country foreign com foreign company right and that foreign company consume that services in Vietnam any foreign companies to whom Vietnamese company is providing services and that foreign companies using their services in Vietnam will be uh, treated as um, uh, uh, taxable services Number three, um, Vietnamese company providing services to individual. If Vietnamese providing services to individual, will be treated as a taxable services. Vietnamese company providing services to another Vietnamese company and this Vietnamese company is outside All right. this Vietnamese company is outside All right. so this Vietnamese company is established in foreign country but it's a Vietnamese company could be a branch or could be any kinds of like as a, um, BIDB has a branch in, in, in Malaysia or maybe in Myanmar so uh, providing services to that, that, that branch 
which is Vietnamese company, which is Vietnamese bank, uh, providing uh, services has to pay uh, tax. If number five, if if Vietnamese company purchase services from outside. If Vietnamese company is taking services from outside, then of course we have to pay VAT on it. All right. So that's that's all about um, the the value added tax information related to uh, this session. Right? So we'll be discuss about um, introductions, then taxpayers in tax exemptions, tax exemptions on the items of goods and services. Uh, need to be declared for uh, any kinds of uh, items that you don't have to uh, declare. So these are declared, and these kinds of items you don't have to declare. Right? And then taxable goods and services. Right. So that's all for this part, part one. And in part two, we discuss about tax rates, uh, tax method, which is direct method and, and, and credit method. And we also talk about the administration system in, in Vietnam, right? So that's all about this uh, session. So we stop here. So hopefully I'm gonna see you uh, on, on, on Wednesday. Right? So we will discuss about price uh, duties, the previous session, all right? I'll see you, thank you.